through a partnership with the state. A lot of folks are very thankful for it. Neil Zerang joined us now live at one of the disaster recovery centers opening up in Little Rock this week to reach out to as many people as possible. And no doubt the folks are there to be reached, Neil. Definitely, Bob. We've been seeing a lot coming in and out at Calvary Baptist Church. I'm told that there are around 200, 300 different Red Cross volunteers coming into the state to help out. They're going door to door or in these disaster recovery centers trying to find every person they possibly can where they are to help them. We have people from Ohio, from Florida, from Texas, from all over the country. That's if you reflect on everything that's happening in and outside the American Red Cross offices in Little Rock, you could say they're operating an army, an army fighting for the well-being of our Kansans. Right now, our primary focus is making sure that those who have been affected by the tornadoes have a safe place to go. Joanne Woody is a volunteer from Missouri, helping with logistics as a nonprofit partners with the Arkansas Department of Emergency Management and Department of Human Services in a transition from housing people in shelters to funding nights in hotels. To qualify, you must be in Pulaski, Lone Oak, or Cross Counties. I lived at a one hotel, then I went to another hotel, then I moved to another hotel. This last place we was in, Red Cross took over for us. Robert Bassett says it's been stressful for his family not knowing what the next day will bring since their home on Shackleford Road was taken out by a tornado. A disaster recovery center opened this week helping him and his wife get what they need. It helps more because people, you can actually talk to people and they understand what you're actually going through. Come talk to Red Cross. They'll help you. They help you 100%. And if you can't make it to one in person, they say you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS for assistance. We're meeting with organizations every day to, to figure out who's got what resources that will help fill the needs now, next month, in two months, or in six months. Because there are some families that won't be in that new permanent, that new normal for, for a year maybe. You know, it's just, it's unfathomable how long it can take sometimes. Still a long road of recovery ahead. If someone needs this help, they are open till 7 tonight. In fact, they're open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekdays, except Jacksonville this Friday will be closing at 5.30 p.m. And according to the Red Cross, the only place opened Saturday, scheduled to open Saturday, is in Wynn. Reporting live in Little Rock, Niels Rang, back to you. All right, Neil, thanks very much. Governor